Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Brave Browser and Microsoft Edge have received the weekly security updates that we have been talking about on the channel this week. And in Edge, to double check you have the update, as always, we head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And for Edge, latest version in build after the update has been applied is version 138.0.3351.95. And that's been bumped up from 0.83. And for Brave, similar process, head to your main menu, help about Brave. Latest version in build for Brave is 1.80.122 for the browser. That's been bumped up from 120. And the Chromium platform 138.0.7204.157. Now, first of all, before we have a look at the security updates, just to let you know that Brave has received a crash fix, which is always good news. And the crash fix is for an issue that was occurring while the Tor network was still connecting. Apparently, it would crash. So that's an important fix if you are using the Tor private browsing. So crash fixes are always good in my book. And then and then over and above that, we get our security fixes as mentioned. And for this week, we get six security fixes that have rolled out. They are all high severity. And the important bit with this update is there is an exploit that exists in the wild. So there's zero day out there that's currently active and happening. So important to check your browsers are up to date sooner than later. Although, if you do use Brave, I have found very good at updating itself automatically in the background. And the zero day that exists in the wild, according to Google, is listed as incorrect validation of untrusted input in Angle. And that's a high severity rating. And then over and above the zero day that's been patched, we have... An Integra overflow in V8, and we've got use after free in WebRTC. So that's what the so that comprises the remainder of those flaws that have been fixed. And then once again, as well with Microsoft Edge, Microsoft says it has fixed various bugs and performance issues, which is common. Not noticing any new tweaks and adjustments after this update has been applied. So there we have it: crash fix for Brave, bug fixes for. Edge and then that security update fixing that zero day that's been exploited in the wild. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.